lesson you will learn the difference between the custom split and the automatic split we are going to do that in donor name field that i have selected here once you have selected you can see that automatic split and custom split option above the cards you can also do that split using the more options in the card that is the donor name card so click on the three dots where you can see the option that is a split values and it is showing automatic split and the custom split now we are going to do that so click on the card and click here automatic split you can see the changes that automatically this name has been splitted into two different columns that is this is a donor name split 1 and this is donor name split 2 so how it split it based on the spaces okay imagine that you want to make it as a first name and the last name that is aaron as the first name and the day as the last name then you can do it using the automatic split but you can see that it is not matching up right but actually it is showing in a ascending order so click on the aaron okay and just scroll it you can see that the day has been highlighted okay so it has been sorted so don't confuse about it so this is the two column and you can also see that this is the original column that is the donor name is the original column and it has been splitted you can simply select here to rename it if you want to select and rename into first name and you can rename this into the last name if you require the existing that is the original column that is a donor name you can keep it or if you don't want you can simply remove it using just click on the more options and click remove so what is custom split i'm just going to do undo this okay i'm just going to uh, delete all these changes to show you what is a custom split this is the original record which you have okay so i'm just going to do the custom split for that i'm just going to select it from the more options click on the split value and click on the custom split where it is asking you for the separator so basically what is separating in your records your records in that column which is a space right so space is separated and it is asking you how to split whether you want to split the first space or the last space or all the spaces so click here first space because that is what uh, basically there in our data so click on the first and then click split now see what happened the first space alone has been splitted into the another new column you can see that the donor name that is the first name alone has been splitted and uh, the last name is not there okay so this is what the custom split okay so only one column you have you got it so again if you want the another column you have to go there split value custom split give the space and then you have to do it like a last split last one field and click split you can see that the last column has that is a last uh, name has been splitted and it is showing up here so this is what the difference between the custom split and the automatic split so in the automatic split what happened it has been automatically split it into the two one so now let us try i'm just going to undo this and let us try the custom split using all options click on the dots click on the split value click custom split give the separator which is a space and click on all and then give the split let's see what's happening here it is splitting the first and the last name into the separate columns you can see this here so this is what the custom split and the automatic split
so even if you have semicolon and even if you have any other character you can just specify specify that in the custom split even automatic split can also understand what you wish to separate in few cases we require custom split and in few cases we can directly go to the automatic split this is how you can use these two splits that is available in the more options in the split values